Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to new video. So today we will check out this all new 2023 Mercedes AMG A45S and this is the special edition, street style edition. Today we are at Hoshek Motor AMG Performance Center in Brno, Czech Republic. Thanks for having us here today. Alright guys, and now it's time to check out the interior here. So we have new changes for the interior, quite a lot for a facelift. And also we have in orange the AMG logo and the door seals. And you can see also there embroidered street style edition in the floor mats. So now let's hop inside and check it out. And this is how the front looks from the rear. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Alright, so welcome to the interior of the new A45S facelift. And here with the street style edition. So what we have special for this car, for the street style edition, is a stitching. Which is here in the orange color. Also this decor with orange stripe and AMG logos pattern. Also we have here AMG logo in orange, in the decor. And these AMG performance seats, which have a A45S logo in the orange. So now let's take a look at the facelift uh, as, a, as a whole. So here we have uh, the biggest change is steering wheel and the new MBUX system, the NTG7, the latest generation of the MBUX. So this is definitely new for the facelift a class and it brings it filters down from the S class and these kind of top level cars all the way down to the entry level compact car. So I have to say it looks very good here in the A class. Personally, I like this steering wheel. I always liked it. Um, as mentioned by other people, uh, now some of the steering wheels are th uh, thinner here uh, where you hold it. So for some people it was uh, more difficult when it was thick to hold it. For me it wasn't really. But uh, yeah, I think this is a correct size and a uh, good size to work with. So it has a uh, good grip, this uh, steering wheel for sure. It's not too thick and also not too thin. But still uh, behind my behind the steering wheel on where I have uh, fingers. Here on this side I, uh, there is like a small protrusion. So it's like, yeah, it's good to, to hold. I really like this. So, uh, yeah, Mercedes-Benz star, the largest uh, ever, put on the steering wheel, and new steering wheel uh, AMG buttons, and these are from the AMG AMG One, um, the idea of them. They are the with, the with new graphics, these AMG buttons now have new graphics, and also they have this capacitive uh, two bars on each side. So let me know what you think about that. You can also press these buttons, not only like a touch, you can also like physically press, like for example, home button, uh, if you, you need to press it. So uh, yeah, that's one thing to, to keep in mind. So it's not only like touch sensitive, but also you can press these buttons. Also, if you set speed here for the Distronic, you can press. It's not only like a sliding, it's also that you can press. Uh, so yeah, the NTG7, for example, in the new SL, you have the same screen as here. Uh, in the AMG models, obviously not um, yeah, in AMG models. So this screen is only for the AMG A35 and A45S. Uh, also what is missing, for example, is here this touchpad. So before we had this holder here where you put your palm and then you can control with the touchpad. Personally, I quite like that idea of controlling. So basically you can uh, control this uh, via the voice uh, with the MBX assistant. Then this is a touch screen. So also by touch and also here with this capacitive button on the steering wheel you can also control it like this. I actually would uh, like to have it here but I don't think it's uh, as big of a deal that you would not buy this car because of that. So um, yeah, overall I, I prefer the new facelift to the pre-facelift because it, it looks to me more modern. New steering wheel and new graphics for the displays. It's good like to change it up uh, every now and then. Also what is missing are these buttons uh, around that holder. So we had here buttons for like uh, exhaust, suspension and these kind of things. Uh, but you can control that easily with these buttons so I don't think it's as big of a deal. Because here you can set it up uh, on the screen 
very easily. Exhaust, suspension, just about everything what you need. So I don't think that's big of a deal. What we still have here uh, is a dynamic button. So that's for the driving mode. Uh, then we have volume knob. I, I really like that uh, they have it here and it's uh, like physical. So that's also really great. Also we have 360 cameras button here. So yeah, that's basically it. You can also still close this middle compartment. And underneath we have wireless charging for a phone, USB-C port. Now it's illuminated. Before we didn't have an illumination on the USB-C port. And it's very good because in the night it's very difficult, not very, but it is difficult to uh, insert the cable here. And we have also 12 volt socket here. So uh, that's very good as well. And adjustable cup holders. So these are adjustable like this, basically. So the air vents remained the same here, as well as this uh, AC panel, on which you can control the climate control here. So yeah, now we can take a look uh, at the car in detail. So let's start with the stitching here. So this is uh, orange stitching. Also this orange stripe, and these are like uh, AMG logos in grey on um, silver decor. So at first glance, someone who is not familiar with these stripes uh, may not recognize what it is. So I think this is a nice detail. Then we have memory seats. Uh, three memory seats. Seats are electric in this car. Also we have heated seats. We cannot have cooled seats with the MG Performance seats. Ventilated seats. But uh, if you don't have uh, MG Performance seats, then you can get ventilated seats as well. Uh, MB lighting stripe. So uh, if you don't have this uh, street cell edition, and you don't have this decor, you have like a microfiber all the way, then you don't have a stripe actually. So make sure you uh, get this. And uh, depending on the market somewhere, it's like necessary maybe, but uh, here or here, you can get it also without it. So this is also uh, very interesting. Vents, they are clicky, inspired by the aviation, also illuminated. And here we have control panels for the lights. Parking light on each side. Then we have a uh, Parking lights, auto lights, main headlights, and then we have fog light here, and you can control the brightness of the driver's screen uh, with this and release the parking brake here. So here we have stocks. This one is for the windshield washer fluid and for the indicators and uh, high beam to set it up. And this one is for the transmission. So you have park, reverse, neutral, and drive. And then we have the MG Performance steering wheel. This one is flat on the bottom and it's not really flat on the sides anymore. So it's uh, flat on the bottom. Then we have AMG logo here at the bottom and uh, shift pedal, which are larger than in the pre facelift A class. They are basically the same as in the top models. I really like these shift uh, pedals. They are very cold, so they are from the metal. And yeah, they are larger also here at the bottom, so you can like hold it like here and with two fingers you can easily like press this or so on the top as well. So I think this is uh, better uh, because before it wasn't, it, it didn't have these protrusions uh, on the ends. So I think this is a good improvement. So what you can control here is uh, driver screen with the home button. Then you have uh, cross control. Then you have uh, cancel and reset. So this is for the driving with the uh, cross control. Then you have home. So you can control the central screen with this. And then we have favorites, you press this, then we have uh, favorites like consumption, traffic, and route overview, a browser display, manual, and you can add even. So that's also nice. And you have a uh, voice recognition and you can uh, call, you can put it up. And uh, you can also take the call here. So that's also very cool. So here with these buttons, uh, you have, uh, you are changing the driving modes. So you can change it up here from the slippery mode the individual, comfort, sport, sport plus and the race mode. And basically you can also see it here on the screen. So where we are changing the driving modes. So we can go over it slippery, individual, comfort, sport, sport plus and the race mode. You can also see how uh, which parameter is like changing. Uh, on the top we have drive train, then we have the suspension and AMB dynamics. This is like a traction control. So really, really cool. Also here we have the exhaust button, so you can turn it also here. 
on and on and all this is for the transmission manual or the automatic also if you press here edit you can actually change order in which uh, is the driving mode for example you can have a race mode directly uh, after the comfort mode so here so now we have it directly as a next option next to the comfort mode so i think this is a uh, very nice also you can see here like animation next to the driving modes also here you can change what is uh, on this left stock here on the steering wheel so you can change for example uh, here if you press on the screen also you can press it here and change it up and also here if you press edit you can change this the order in which yeah, it actually is so that's also very cool I really like this customization before in the pre-facelift it was not possible so that's a good improvement so on the side it is a microfiber like material and on the top and on the bottom we have the uh, Napa leather and here in the for the driver screen we can check out how you can change it so here if you press drive uh, if here if you press the uh, home button you have a uh, track pace so this is uh, for the telemetry like so you can see the parameters here this is also new for the facelift so it was not uh, like this before and then we have the super sport so you can see here the newton meters kilowatts uh, on this side rpms and uh, yeah very very nice this screen then we have a sport so you can see temperatures of the engine oils and also settings for the driving mode so if you have for example uh, race mode you can see here all settings uh, very nicely as well and then we have a classic this one is pretty much uh, like a classic one you can also change what is in the middle so you can change it up but you cannot change what is inside of these dials it was like uh, in the preface lift it was possible but now only in the middle but yeah I think this is a good improvement for example this is uh, new this uh, engine data this is new one then we have understated this one is like uh, not really much also you can see radio here so that's also like a changing uh, with the understated mode then we have the navigation so you can see full screen navigation here uh, then we have assistance for the distronic driving distronic plus and then we have the service so with the service you can see uh, message warning messages assist plus when is next service and temperatures for the engine oil also you will see tire pressure and tire temperature for the each tire when you will start uh, to drive and if you swipe up here on the stock then you will see the heads up display setting so you can change the head up display how it basically looks and uh, also you can turn it off if you don't want to head up display uh, the brightness is now on the 5 so we have here the track pace then race super sport standard minimal and you will see it more when you are driving so now you have only like a speed here but you can see the uh, super sport and also the race which i think the super sport or the race one is my favorite and you can see also here how it looks when you are driving so basically you can see here the when you are driving and changing gears you can see here the changing of the gears and animations so that's it for the driver screen now for the central screen we can check it out from the start finally we have the apple carplay on the full screen in the a-class facelift i assume the android auto is also on the full screen so i personally don't have android phone so i cannot uh, like test this but i assume why not uh, why this would be and android auto no so i think they both are now on the full screen which is uh, a great news because before it was like uh, almost half of a display uh, it had the uh, spaces on each side now we have like smaller one centimeter half an inch uh, of a space because of the home button there but uh, if you are driving you are not like a tool you, you basically cannot see that empty space here when you are driving so this is uh, fantastic news for the apple carplay so you can basically have uh, here a split menu with the, the navigation ways and like a music 
or the podcast. So this is uh, really, really amazing. So if you tap here, you will see the split menu. So on the left side, you have the vase, for example. I use uh, very, very often vase, basically almost uh, every time I drive. And then you can have here direction when you are driving. And here you can have podcast or the music app, Spotify, Apple Music or other uh, services, basically. So, uh, yeah, I'm really happy with this. Also, if you are on the call, you can see here the person time, etc. So this is uh, fantastic news. Also, you can make the vase uh, full screen and you can find uh, basically everything. So, yeah, this is uh, uh, very, very good. So what we have here, uh, I have iOS uh, 16.2, so the latest one. And, uh, yeah, basically, if I swipe, uh, it works also here for the slip, uh, split screen. And I have here the phone, music, apps, uh, messages, now playing, podcast, audiobooks, uh, calendar settings, and Google Maps. I use Google Maps because um, here they're a little bit better in Slovakia than Apple Maps. But uh, yeah, otherwise I use uh, Apple, Maps, Apple Maps too uh, now and then, but usually I use... Uh, Google Maps not for driving but for finding stuff uh, yeah for finding stuff addresses etc and for driving I use uh, Waze which is here on like a quick uh, select and then you can have other apps like messengers whatsapp and uh, these kind of things uh, on other page there so really great in terms of the Apple CarPlay that this is now on the full screen and I connected the Apple CarPlay via the cable but you can also do that wirelessly. So we have wireless uh, Apple CarPlay now in the A-Class facelift. And we can also check out other stuff in the infotainment system here, because we have here the latest generation of the MBUX system, which you know very well from uh, top cars, the all new models. So now we have it also here in the new A-Class facelift. So here we have navigation. You can screen the navigation as a uh, new uh, design brand new, uh, same as in, for example, in the S class. So that's also something uh, to look forward to. And also here you can see some uh, like a radio or phone. What you use uh, the most? So that's also uh, pretty cool. Uh, then we have phone. So you need to connect your device. You can connect two phones, as you can see. Uh, yes. Then we have the radio. So with radio you can see uh, all kinds of radios. Uh, then we have the media. So that's also you need to connect your device for that. Then we have apps. This is for the Mercedes Me app dashcam. So I think this is new. Uh, I don't think this was uh, possible before. So you can record uh, the dashcam as, as well. Also individual recording. So I think this is uh, pretty cool. I actually really like this. Then you not, don't need like... Um, physical dash cam, uh, this old school style, you can record it here in the car, which is, uh, I need to I need to study this, uh, how it works more. Also here in the comfort we have uh, seats and ambient lighting. So here for the seats we have seat kinetics. So this will move seat forward, backward and uh, uh, up and down a little bit, so you are not tired for uh, long journeys. Then you have lumbar support, so you can also change this in the seats, which is really good, for example, uh, on longer journeys as well. Also you can inflate side bolsters. So these bolsters uh, which are here, they can be inflated and then we are more uh, fixed into the position in the seat, for example when you are driving in a, in a sporty manners, and you can reset the whole seat. Then ambient lighting, so for example uh, in terms of the colors we have uh, 64 monochrome, uh, monochrome colors and then we have multicolors, uh, 12 options. So we have, uh, we can go over these. Then we have brightness. So now we have uh, the 10 is maximum. And we can also link zones, so you can change these individually as well. And then we have effects, uh, like a greeting. For example, the ambient light welcomes you with a special color animation as you get into your vehicle. Then you have climate. Uh, multicolor animation, so ambient lighting creates animated color changes within the selected color scheme. Track pace, ambient lights, shows the delta time during active race, uh, track race. 
And yeah, that's basically it. So in terms of the colors, we can check the multicolors, how it looks. The first one is the ocean blue. So it looks like this, the blue. And here we have like light blue here on the lower part. Uh, then we have the Miami Rose. So you can see these like a peach color and violet also here in the air vents. So this is the most, uh, these lighter colors are better visible during nighttime. The violet, the purple is most visible during daytime. Here is, is like a turquoise and pink. I think this is a cool, cool one. Also we have ambient lighting here in the pedals, which are uh, in aluminum and with rubber dots, so they are not slippery. Okay, so then we have the burning blue. This one is like yellow and blue, as you can see. Then we have the Venice pink. So these are in pink and peach shades. Then we have the chrome shine. This one is more like in this uh, light, pink, light uh, blue, you can see. Light purple, these kind of colors. Then we have the red moon. This one is in this uh, watermelon and blue one. Then we have the jungle green. This is uh, turquoise and also the green. And then we have the ultramarine. This is in like a violet, purple and blue. And then we have the fresh cyan, which is this kind of uh, turquoise and blue. And also we have the racing yellow. This one is like a yellow and orange, and racing orange is like a almost red and orange. So this fits this uh, this street set edition for sure. This and this kind of color. So that's uh, that's for this section. Then we have a performance. So we need to turn on the ignition. Here you also can see the animation of the MG buttons. So here for this section we have the vehicle. So here you can see suspension and uh, how the car is doing while the driving, also steering angle. And then we have engine. So this is a whole new infotainment layout, whole new design of this section. We have the uh, torque, power, also uh, boost pressure and temperature of the transmission, gearbox and the engine. Then we have something new, what is uh, pretty cool. So this is IWC clock from the Schaffhausen. In the A-Class it was never before in the pre-face lift, so this is like an addition to it. But in some top models uh, we actually had physical clock in the dash, like in the C-Class, C63 and in other, other uh, more expensive models. But here now also, thanks to the uh, digital screen, we have also a digital watch. So you can drive like this uh, as well. And you have some functions here like a star stop, so you can see here uh, that you can also do this. So that's pretty cool. It's not only like an image, but also you can see that uh, it starts on the animation as well. So I think this is pretty cool. And you can stop, start again, you can also reset. So pretty cool this. And also it shows the real time. So you can see it's 9.30, 5 uh, a.m. And also it shows here also the date, Monday and the 16th of January. So I think this is pretty cool actually. And then we have the consumption, uh, self-explanatory. So then track pace, this is the telemetry. You can see the tracks, for example, here we have the most famous AMG Speedway, Monza, these kind of uh, tracks you can see. You can also import your own track and this telemetry is very, very good. You have a drag race also and telemetry here is, you can see speed, acceleration, brake and you can also add functions and have it on full screen. So this is pretty cool. Uh, here in the settings we have the assistance, vehicle light, system and info. So here in the assistance we have a collision avoidance. So you can see active brake assist, active lane keeping assist and blind spot assist. And then we have the assistance. Here we have a speed limit assist, traffic light view and attention assist. Then for the cameras, we have GPS-based GPS activation of the cameras. This is new as well. And you can open the camera cover. 
and for the parking we have a, you can set warning, to, warning tones, audio fade out, time of warning and maneuvering assistant. I think yeah, this is for the parking of course. So what you can see here for example, uh, side warning and front early standard time of warning. So that's also pretty cool. Then in the vehicle we have driving. So here you can set the winter tail limit, automatic filling station search. Then you have a comfort, easy entry and exit feature and roof roller sound bar. You can do that also from the screen. This is new as well. And you can open close automatic locking, acoustic lock, automatic mirror folding and also standby, standby mode. And right, dynamic select you can ask when starting. So you can see here when starting the vehicle you will be asked whether the driving program and the status of the echo star stop function should be adjusted to those selected at the end of last journey. So this is very useful. Uh, you can have also uh, drive reduced and, and this is for the individual mode. So here in the lights we have multi beam LED so you can have dynamic low beam you can turn it off only here on via the stalk then the uh, exterior interior lightning locator lighting interior lightning delight switch off and exterior lighting delay as well and ambient lighting uh, that's basically what is also in the comfort uh, menu and then in the system you have intelligent assistant then you have display and display messages so you have online recognition proactivity and this kind of uh, setting also graphic goodies this is new you have language keyboard uh, handwriting control elements so you can basically set up everything audio. This is also for the Burmester. So we have Burmester sound system. You can have personal sound profile or pure surround equalizer here. So you can add bass, meets and treble for example. And you have also sound focus on the front or the rear seats. And uh, loudness normalization as well. So you have off, low, medium and high for the volume as well. Then you have uh, internet Bluetooth and data protection system. You, have, you can have a pin uh, for the system, you can transmit via uh, position, time and date, software updates, uh, allow software updates free of charge. So that's also uh, cool. And you have info, owner's manual, system information and legal information. So yeah, that's basically it. You cannot now swipe down like it was before possible uh, because of this new NTG. So there are some differences as well. Here if you press you have a profile, you can set up more profiles and you have favorites here. So you can also see here the uh, recording actually. So that's pretty cool. 4G network, you can see that it is online and also time and date. So overall I think this is a good improvement for the A class and also here in terms of the let me just adjust this in terms of the AC uh, if you press here then you can see new layout for the AC as well so it looks a little bit uh, differently as well and if you swipe down then you have favorites uh, here and also notifications and car functions, car wash mode as well. So here we have an auto button and this is basically the same as in the previous models. You can change the temperature here, physical buttons, also for the menu, hazard lights and you can defrost the rear window, also the front one. You have also, you can close the circulation of the air, AC button and sync uh, button. Also we can check out here the 360 view. So here we have the 360 cameras. I pressed it here on the central console. So uh, here if you press up, then we have the parking assistant. Here we have a front, then we have a back. You can also enlarge it here with this button. So you can have a, a rear angle wide and also front can be wide uh, as well. Then we have from one side, you can see the curbs if you are parking. Also from the other side, uh, very useful and auto. It will keep the car uh, on top like in the video game. Also on the left side you have an additional 360 view. And here if you press this button then you can lock the camera activation uh, in this position.
So when you arrive here, the cameras will automatically turn on. Okay, so here you can see AMG logo in orange and this AMG pattern. We can also change here the color so it's uh, more visible here for this one, this blue one. Also some sunshine we have here. And here in the compartment we have the small like information about the car. This will go on the windshield after I stop recording. The glove compartment is quite large. Here in the doors we have the Wordmaster speaker as well as here. That's also uh, the same as it was in the preface lift. And here you can see the AMG uh, pattern decor as well. And here in the middle we have the armrest also with orange stitching. So in the middle we have two USB-C ports. They are also illuminated. That's new for the facelift. And it's pretty deep as always. And good for two arms. Wider than in most uh, like compact cars, most hatchbacks and compact cars, this is uh, wider than in most of these. AMG performance seats, these are very, very cool with this uh, AMG A45S logo. So logo is stitched in the orange. So the seats are in black leather as well as the microfiber material. And here in this middle part is in uh, matte black. Sometimes this is in uh, chrome. Uh, here in this case it is in matte black and we have also AMG badge here uh, that's also as before so yeah let me know how do you like these seats they are pretty good but for the long journeys I would go for the standard seats uh, myself but for the shorter journeys these are better for sure and then here in the top we have the microphone and the mirror cosmetic mirror and also here we have the Mercedes me button, SOS button, you can close and open the sunroof and lights buttons, light buttons as well. So you can close this uh, roller sun blind and if it's too hot outside then you can close this or you can open it. Also as we saw in the menu you can do that as well but I think this is easier to grab it on the top. You can also open it like this only for the ventilation so you have small gap here. Or you can open it fully like this, so you have more uh, fresh air coming to the car. So, uh, yeah, very, very cool. The window here is also tinted, so it actually is a little bit tinted, but not enough to not burn your head. So I would suggest to close the sun if it's too, uh, too hot. So, yeah, I think that's it in terms of the front section of the vehicle. And basically, the rear one is the same as uh, before, I believe, but I can check it out and show it to you. Alright, so now I'm in the back seat of the A45S. We have also privacy glass. I don't want to film that side because there is a customer. I think there is missing every lighting now uh, in the food well. In terms of the legroom, it's the same as before with the MG performance seats. They are more flat, so we have more legroom for me. Uh, I'm 186 centimeters, 6 feet and 2 inches and I have good I would say six centimeters, five centimeters, something like that. If I sit like this, if I sit like this, I have uh, plenty of space. Five, six centimeters, that's about two inches. So yeah, uh, I think it's a good amount of the space. Also here you can see USB-C port. You can see how it is lighted up. And as well here we have the vents. Also orange stitching here and pretty large door pocket with ambient lighting and also here. So here for the rear seats we have integrated headrest uh, as always and this is basically the same as in the uh, pre-face lift. You, you can tuck this, this buckle uh, like this so it's not uh, in your way and you have uh, connection points for the isofix uh, here as well. And also here you have the hook and the light uh, as well. So you can hang your jacket and turn on the light the same as uh, here but I don't want to film because of the client here. Uh, in the middle we have the armrest which you can fold like this and it has the two cup holders they are like a hidden and adjustable uh, as well. So yeah that's basically that and technically we have three seats but more comfortable definitely for two people. You can squeeze three people but definitely more comfortable for uh, two people.
You can also see here like a protrusion. So it's like uh, the idea is that two people will sit here. This one is more like an emergency seat between these two seats. All right, so in terms of the headroom, and this is unchanged with the uh, pre-facelift. For me, I have about, I would say 10 centimeters. That's about four inches, maybe five inches, like 12 centimeters, I don't know exactly, but plenty of space as you can see. So uh, that's also really great in terms of the headroom, definitely more than in the CLA in the back. So behind the front seats, basically the sunroof ends. Well, I guess that's it for this video. Let me know how you like the new AMG A45S facelift version in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on notification bell so you are notified for all new videos. And I will see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.